Greetings, everyone. So I wanted to do a video because uh, the markets are down and I think that um, I need to be more aggressive with my forward facing content start, you know, mostly now because this is what everybody's looking for, the chance to get rich. Um, right now is the time to really start thinking about um, dollar cost averaging. The, the person who has the most advantage, the most opportunity um, right now is the person who has a regular income, having a regular job, who has savings that they earn each month, like just dollars in general. Um, because the crypto market is emotional and it's reacting to these SEC attacks. Um, you have quality projects that are being pulled down. And that's really the time that you want to be excited. This is a time to be excited. This is the time that when you buy something, your dollar is not competing with someone else. You know, in the bull market, one of the thoughts that would run through my head, you know, FOMO is the emotion that you feel. Oh man, like everything's running and I feel like I'm being left behind, you know. I typically don't because I have like good quality projects and I do well in the bull market. And you know, also I've been through three cycles, right? So the, my emotions are going down each cycle and I'm getting less and less phased by them. And you know, even in this um, bear market, like I don't, I, I'm not feeling nearly as bad as I used to um, because I've been through three markets where it's been down 90%. Um, you know, you can't know the top and you can't know the bottom. This is the name of the game. You know, people um, even sometimes say, oh, why didn't you pull profits from the previous tops? Well, you know, like when Bitcoin was going up, it would go down 70% and then it would go up 100%. It would go down 70%. Like you didn't know where the top was. It's impossible. Like, and I know a lot of people look at these charts and they try to predict the future with them. I'm not in that camp. Maybe some people can. Okay, well, 90% of the, this population, the, po the population that's in crypto looks at charts. Uh, and I know they're not all winning. Um, but this is the time to be excited, guys. Um, this is the time to, to really look at crypto and to, 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 to be looking at quality projects and to be doing investigations and to be looking and, and to dollar cost average into projects with teams that are working hard, that have good technology, that look like they're going to have a user experience uh, as a focus. Because I think this next cycle is going to be more dominated by user experience because we're in the last reigns of this market taking over some real business models. And it's, it's, it's going to be a lot more mature in the next cycle, in my opinion. Uh, let's take a look at some things over here. So um, this is TradingView Bitcoin dominance. Now, I want you guys to be aware that it, I think that Bitcoin dominance probably will come up here. Um, I expected this, one of my wrong calls was I expected this to drop lower because the altcoins are much more valuable than they were around here. When this cycle happened, um, the altcoins were not as valuable as they are now in terms of what they're capable of doing. In this cycle, they are. There's a lot more protocols providing a lot more services, a lot more services provided, um, a lot more mature, and yet we didn't see it break down here, which is what I thought should have happened because the alts are fundamentally stronger than they were in this cycle. Um, but it didn't happen. So that means the alts are even more at a discount. And when we come up here, I want, this is the most important thing for people to think about. Um, look at these dates around December 24th, maybe around the end of the year, um, around March um, 24th, you know, so, or, you know, yeah, this is actually, you know, this is Bitcoin on the month, so uh, it's kind of a pretty long time scale. So, but this is where you want to be thinking about if Bitcoin dominance this is Bitcoin BTC.D on uh, TradingView. If Bitcoin dominance goes up here to the 60%, that's when you want to go all in into the alts. Now, I'm not saying wait because I don't see that. Like, look, it might not run up there. Um, and people are saying, oh, look at Bitcoin's breakout. Let's take a look at that. Does that really look like a breakout to you? Does that look like a big candle? Look at some of these big candles in the past that it's had. Uh, that is not a big candle. That does not make me feel confident. However, it's entirely possible that this market is not that educated. That's, there's a reason people run into meme coins. It's not an educated market. It's not that smart of a market. It's not a sophisticated market. 
That might sound harsh, but that's the reality. So if all these people, like if people sell their alts and Bitcoin dominance comes up here, it is time to go crazy into alts. Um, there is that's this is the hundred x opportunities that people are looking for. This is the life changing opportunity that people are looking for, and you have to think on a long time scale because it, you know, I've. I've done over 1,000x in, in my total net worth, but I never made 100x in less than two years. I took the patient approach. Now, you know, I see some people that do it in a year, et cetera. Are they gambling or did they get lucky or are they really using strategy? Maybe some of them are using strategy. Me personally, that's not what I'm capable of doing. I did it in the long run. I have slow, steady performance. I was capable of beating Bitcoin. I was not capable of beating Ethereum. And this is what I'm thinking, right? Guys, this is just opinion material. This is not financial advice. This is opinion material. But what I'm thinking is if this comes up here from these delusional markets, this is the opportunity. Like this, this is only a 10, 20 percent move in terms of Bitcoin dominance versus the alts. But that means the alts will be down 50 percent, 60 percent, 80 percent if this really happens. I'm not saying wait. I'm still saying dollar cost average because it doesn't look like it's super strong. But this is what all the people are predicting. This is what everybody expects. Everybody's expecting Bitcoin dominance to come up here. And if they're right. Make sure that you get your alts then. Um, and this is another thing I want to point out is Ethereum in this cycle. This is Ethereum is showing strength. Ethereum is as quality as Bitcoin at this point. Look at this. This is showing that Ethereum <coughs> is if we, why aren't we talking about Ethereum dominance? Ethereum is not even losing ground against Bitcoin when the SEC is practically trying to destroy crypto in America. And all these companies are leaving America. All the futures going somewhere else. And everybody's like, oh, the altcoins are dead. Well, Ethereum is no longer an altcoin. Ethereum is part of the permanent infrastructure of this of crypto. And so don't listen to these delusional Bitcoin maxis. You can see Ethereum right here, showing strength stronger than ever. Now, if Ethereum comes down, I would I would rather own Ethereum than the altcoins. It's um, in a much better position, a much more guaranteed position than the other alts. So this is one to look at. But it doesn't look like it's showing weakness. It looks like it's showing strength. So it may hold for a while. And remember, Ethereum is deflationary now. So if you stake it, you could be getting 10% real yield because it's deflationary, right? You can get the yield from um, from transaction fees as well as the deflationary percentage, and you could stake that. So Ethereum is one of the most solid investment strategies that there is. I would say treat Ethereum. I would rather own Ethereum over Bitcoin any day. That's just me personally. Even if it comes down, I don't care. I would, it, if I'm going to put dollars in this system, they're going to enter in Ethereum first. So I would wait for an Ethereum pullback. May or may not happen. But it's, Ethereum is showing strength. So that's, that's an unusual thing in the crypto space that usually never happens. Once again, so, so I mean, that's just it, guys. Um, that's just it. That's the summary right now. But I am going to put out more video content uh, in general. I need to get a better camera. My cam like I'm just using the Mac camera and I might need to get um, OBS or whatever, like the software for the, my Mac and start putting up content up front. As many of you know, I run a patron. Um, <coughs> what I do is I do um, statistical analysis and I've been running through community projects. I'm going to run through VC projects now. And I wait, I look at my statistics, um, you know, the Kelly for formula criterion, et cetera, like, and I do a diagnostic test to see how my uh, evaluations look over time. But I am going to get put out more videos because this is a hell of an opportunity. This is the time to be excited. And I might not get many views in my YouTube channel. I don't expect to get many views, maybe a hundred people, but you know, if, if there's 50 people that get this and they re and, and I wake them up, even if it, you know, even if it's ten people, I'm excited for those people that are capable of realizing that this is where the opportunity is. This is the type of chance to get, you know, by by the nature of of getting wealthy, you're going to be in a smaller group of than a larger group. So I, I expect to be it talking to that smaller group that is going to be successful. That's going to make it all the way right now. This is the group that the group that's still here after this point, after the SEC, these are the people that I'm talking to. I'm not talking to the people that left. And so hopefully, um, you know, if, you, if you're not in that group, you know, like you're not gonna make it. You, this, is the this is where the money is. Like, and I know a lot of people that would be scared right now, but this is honestly the time to be celebrating because this is a life-changing money. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to put out more content up front. Um, check out my patron uh, and um, I, I'll talk to you guys later.